921 in the morning. I'm Ralph Ben Mergy. This is Ben Mergy in the morning on Jazz FM 91. Margaret May, mezzo soprano, joins me now to not talk about being a mezzo soprano. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, you are here to talk about uh, a fundraiser that you're doing tomorrow evening. Yes. Tell me, first of all, uh, tell me what it's about and what it's for. It's about epilepsy. It's about our epilepsy awareness and raising funds for research for epilepsy. Uh, research in Canada for epilepsy is very much underfunded, chronically underfunded, mm -hmm. and it really needs uh, f funds. And I set up a foundation uh, which is called Epilepsy Cure Initiative this year, a non-profit um, incorporated organization that is going to raise funds for research and also uh, the, to work to improve people's uh, lives uh, with epilepsy and now, bring awareness. Now, why is this important to you? It is important um, our family was touched by epilepsy about 10 years ago when my 10-year-old then son um, uh, experienced his f first seizures, seizure. And um, epilepsy has many different uh, f you know, kinds and faces, and you can say that every person with epilepsy has different, a little bit, slightly yeah. different epilepsy. So when it happened to your son, how yes. much did you know about epilepsy before nothing, that? Nothing, nothing. I only knew that there are people that experience seizures, and which I've never actually seen before. Right. And, um, and that was a very shocking experience for me, and I had to learn a lot, and we learned hard way. Um, unfortunately, my son's epilepsy is not, as, it's not uh, established as a, as a one um, form. Uh, he ha experienced this is different seizures. And Multiple they, forms of seizures. Yes, and they, imp they increase with time. So, like, it, it, this frequency, it used to be like one in a few months. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this time, he has. Uh, uh, in the span of 10 uh, years, he mm, sometimes may experience five seizures per day. Wow. But I know there are, I have met children that experience sometimes 70, 100 or 200 seizures per day. And these people, um, for these people, the research is the only help because there is no medication that helps these people. Uh, basically, one third of the people that uh, suffer of epi from epilepsy don't respond to any medication. So that's a large number because right. there is like in Canada we have 300,000 people um, affected, we'll affected by epilepsy. And there are anti-seizure drugs that do work for some people, Dilantin yes. and things yes, like that. Yes, well, right? they, they work individually for different people, right. different drugs, so, so uh, statistically it would look like that, that one third of the patients is helped uh, qui quite well, uh, one third somewhat, and one third not at all. So that's like a large number of people, and uh, that is so important that the research uh, really uh, receives funds from the general public and also from government. And um, this year I started an um, annual event, I hope to continue, uh, in Parliament uh, here in, uh, in Toronto um, to, to talk to politicians uh, about epilepsy. Raise awareness with Raise the politicians. Awareness so why, why, I don't, why is it so misunderstood, do you think? Well, how it's a mysterious disease that guards its secret still today and mm -hmm. uh, that is still um, surrounded by myths and misconceptions and uh, associated with stigma. And people don't want to mention they have epilepsy. People don't want to talk about it. They don't want to admit it. Uh, and this is very surprising because, you know, in this country that we openly talk about AIDS, about uh, breast cancer, mm. about very, very intimate things, which people still don't want, to talk, don't want to talk about epilepsy. And it must have an effect on job uh, uh, yes. prospects for people with epilepsy because if, if you tell someone you, you're an epileptic they'll fear that you're going to have a seizure on their yes. work floor or something that like that. That is very important for people to to learn about seizures to know how to behave because people out of fear okay. of not knowing how to behave they, they basically um, don't want to have nothing to do with it and they very often isolate and uh, you know just uh, left people with um, epilepsy alone and that's why I, um, I brought here to the studio uh -huh. um, lavender sachets with uh, one la lavender, organic lavender here, the, which is smells. So these so are sachets of lavender. Yes, smell wonderful. And lavender is a color for epilepsy, and uh, is a flower and color for epilepsy. It's a flower that is um, associated with isolation and seclusion. That's what people with epilepsy experience. Mm -hmm. So through my foundation, I would like to sell products of mm -hmm. lavender because that is so. Mm -hmm. And petite. 
now is a very mild form of seizure that yes. people don't even know is happening to to the person. Yes, who has it's a it, brief, right? brief like few seconds, like a so you check out eye. for a second and then you yes. come back. Yes, you yeah. come back. Yes. But the grand mal seizure is the one that I think most people associate fairly or unfairly with epilepsy. Yes, there are many different kinds of seizures, yes. uh, and uh, those two. I mean, the grand mal and most um, re recognized by people. What's the yeah. first thing you want to have happen? I mean, I know there's a lot that you want to get done here, but if there was one thing that could happen immediately, what would you want it to be? Embrace the lavender, not to, not let people with it, embrace people with epilepsy. Right. Uh, have them included, uh, you know, just uh, in a workplace or or uh, in social circles. In social, Everything. Yeah. yes. Like for instance, my son. Uh, you know, I use the example of my son. He lost almost all his friends. Uh, to high school because they were uh, probably thinking of what's going to happen if he has a seizure during party. Right. So he basically just uh, gave up and he didn't go anywhere. He stayed uh, basically... Well, that must have broken your heart. Yes, he stayed home for many years. He's just basically, basically sitting at home, um, not having many friends and not going out and, and just um, studying. He's not giving up. He's studying hard and he's trying to go through university now to college um, mm -hmm. and it takes him longer but he's not giving up and uh, we're just hoping for the research to so work. embrace the people who have yes, this condition yes. instead Learn of about isolating it, them not to be afraid of it yeah. seizures last only a moment but that doesn't define the person behind the seizure yeah. you know like so many famous people that shape the world history like uh, Julius Caesar Napoleon uh, Ludwig van Bo Beethoven like artists Van Gogh Agatha Christie uh, Isaac Newton scientists uh, Michelangelo um Leonardo da Vinci, they had epilepsy. Hmm. And look what they've done, yeah. like uh, Roosevelt and um, yeah. you know, many famous people. I know I was in a mall um, a few years ago and a man was having a, a grand mal seizure in a store that I was in and people started to move away yes. and I went towards him and you become almost... Uh, unbendable in a seizure, uh, you know, yeah, hard in, like in iron. That, mm -hmm. But I just tried to um, you know, cushion him mm -hmm. on the way down so that he could get down to the ground softly yes, and then yeah. I just waited it for it to that's finish just, and then that was it. That's just it. His kid was with him and his kid had seen this before and was mm -hmm. okay and he was okay but he realized what had happened but the the reaction of people was a fear and I guess it's mm -hmm. just about getting over the fear. Yes, it's just perturbing to watch it. But once you know about it and you know that this is going to, to, to finish soon, it they last about two minutes, uh, you know, and then basically you just help the person to get up and, uh, and just yeah. come back. And it'd, be, it'd be nice if they had a, an ad campaign on TV to just show mm -hmm. people this is not the yes. end of the world. It's yeah, just we need condition. to talk about epilepsy. And I have to say that many things, great things happen because of, of uh, grassroots effort. Mm. And one of them was great... Um, uh, um, filmmaker from Hollywood, Jim Abrahams, that uh, produced movie, directed and produced movie, First Do No Harm. Uh, his son had epilepsy and he had about 100 seizures uh, a day and uh, nothing could help him. Um, uh, he was operated, the brain, they operated his brain, they yeah. used all the experimental drugs, nothing was helping. And then he came up at, at the book, uh, um, he w became aware of the book uh, called Ketogenic Diet. Um, he learned that there is that uh, treatment available in um, John Hopkins Hospital mm -hmm. um, that was developed in 1920s and it was used b for the, so many years at ab about uh, 15 years ago that happened and he took his son over there and in six days his seizures were gone Wow! but basically it's a fat diet using about 80 percent fat and the rest of them is very little protein almost no sugars and that helped and the, uh, what's it called the what diet? ketogenic diet the ketogenic k-y-t-o G N I C K E K E K E yes okay. ketogenic ketogenic diet because uh, people are going to want to know mm. now there's an event it's tomorrow night it's uh uh, Body and Soul, Tango Passion, and it's at 7.30 at the St. Lawrence Center, 27 Front Street East, and it's a fundraiser, I assume? It's a fundraiser. Indeed. Yes. And uh, it's uh, going to feature Quartango, who are fantastic. Yes, they are, they are just wonderful. We just seen them in Montreal just about uh, one week ago. They're great. And they were wonderful, really. And so you're going to do that. Uh, if people want tickets, I should tell them the phone numbers, uh, 416-366-7723. Or they can go toll free at 1-800-708-6754. We'll put it up on our website. People can uh, take a look at it there. And there's an online uh, www.stlc.com. S-T-L-C. 
LLC. Dot com, which is the St. Lawrence Center's website, and you can check them out there. 7.30 tomorrow night, and uh, if you want to uh, go down and listen to Quartango, beautiful music, and uh, contribute towards uh, education and research on uh, epilepsy, which affects 300,000 Canadians, I think it would be a good thing to do. Uh, Margaret, good luck. Thank you. It's a good fight. And uh, tell your son not to give up no matter what. Yes. Let's do some Quartango on Jazz FM 91.